that will actually reduce harm. Question number 12, Ana Hila Kanongataha Suisuiki. Kia ora te mana whakawā. He pātai ki te minita mō ngā take kiritaki tau hoko hoko. What measures has the government announced to protect the public from unscrupulous wheel clamping practices? The Honourable Mr. Chris Speaker. Uh, Mr Speaker, recently Transport Minister Fong Twyford and I announced a new government measure that will enforce a cap of $100 to be charged for the removal of a wheel clamp. This, this move has been done to protect consumers uh, from the uh, behaviour of wheel clampers, clampers who have gone unchecked for years. We acknowledge there is legitimate need to protect private property, but the practices of what has become cowboy clamping industry are causing significant harm to consumers. Why has the government implemented these changes? Mr Speaker, the government was tired of hearing about cowboy clampers using standover tactics to squeeze unfair fees out of motorists. Stories of mostly elderly motorists being targeted by clampers within minutes, uh, within minutes of parking and being charged as much as $700 for the removal, $700 for the removal of wheel clamps were, all, were far too frequent. The charges were excessive and causing financial loss and emotional distress. The coalition government is one that cares about protecting consumers, and I thank the New Zealand First and the Green parties for their support. What will the consequences for cowboy clampers if they don't comply? Well, Mr Speaker, as I said, there is a maximum of $100 uh, a charge for the uh, removal of a wheel clamp, infringement fees of $1,000 for an individual and $5,000 for a company can be charged, and a fine of up to $3,000 for an individual and $15,000 for a company can be imposed if the matter goes to court. That concludes oral questions. I call on Government Order of the Day number one. Maritime Powers Extension Bill, Committee State.